Hey, hey Chun. When's the next base building video? Hey, 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 is there gonna be a base video on that? Tutorial? Build a space? Stop. How have you been? How is your life without the Asian base? We probably got raided last night with only 2C4. But let me tell you, tomorrow will be different. This base is at least 16 rockets to raid from every single angle. It requires 0 BPs, not a single one. It has 35 large boxes, 15 small boxes, and all of those boxes are organized through signs. The upkeep to this base is only 6,000 stone, 4,500 metal, 1,500 wood for 24 hours. This base costs 30k stone and 15k metal. Do not be afraid about the cost of metal frags, however, because this base is modular, which means this base grows with you on the server. The majority of this base is built with stone, and will keep you secure for a long time before the metal is added gradually later on in the build. Let's get started on how to build this base. First, find a relatively flat area. Start with two square foundations and three triangles in one of the sides. Add full walls all around the side of the foundations. But, on this point of the three triangle foundations, add two half walls instead of a full wall. You need this to make the loot room later. Now, you want to add stone triangle foundations all around the walls you just made. Using wood, you're going to make a temporary starting base. Get two wooden double doors ready and add the walls and frames that I show in the video. Once secured, you want to add your cupboard right here. Make sure you can still add a wall frame on the left side of the cupboard. You will now place three large boxes and two small ones which will be part of your loot room later. This should be enough storage until you can expand later. You will need furnaces, so you can place three here for now and pick the left one up later for a tier 1 workbench. You can add up to six sleeping bags inside the starter area. So far, this is what it looks like. After you farm some more stone, you want to expand the other three triangles. Remember to put two half walls at this part instead of a full wall, and also add triangle stone foundations on the side of the walls. Now, make your building a half wall higher all around, then cover the ceiling up except the square floor opposite of the cupboard. You can then add the doorways. The next thing you should do is make your base harder to door camp. This is especially useful if you're a streamer or play on a high prop server. Finish adding the doorways. Then we're going to be using the small box plus a sheet metal door technique to get up. The good thing about this base is that you can leave most of the doors open and have a straight way into your loot room. You can cover the rest of the ceiling up and go back to the circle of foundation you just made. Add the honeycomb. You can make this metal if you want to save on stone since you need to upgrade it to metal anyways. You can fill in the rest of the walls in the circle by adding two shop fronts and a front door. You can add another airlock here and use it to get up. Make a Twig staircase up by using half walls and triangle floors. Once the base is a bit more secure, you want to set up your loot room properly. Delete all the wooden blocks that you place temporarily. Just a reminder that this wall right here at the end of the triangle foundations has to be half walls instead of normal walls. You can pick up all the bags and furnaces and copy the box layout onto the other side. From then, you want to add stone triangle floors on top of the boxes and add another box layout on the second compartments all the way up to the top. You can then put signs on the triangle floors to have an organized loot room. This jump can be difficult and I only opened it up to show the loot room in its entirety. You can put a triangle floor on it to get up easier. You can add the repair bench here and still access the chests. You can then squeeze and research table right here. You're able to choose whether or not to have all your bags or beds in the loot room or to put more boxes there instead if you need more room. When adding another layer of 8 doors, you don't want to go up the same way the bottom door is facing. You want to go to the opposite side or else you will only have one floor going straight down to your loot room. If you have the metal handy, you should upgrade all these floors to metal now as you will eventually need to anyways. So like I was saying, you want to start making doorways starting from the square floor, not the triangle floor. You can start filling out the honeycomb now and you can do this two ways. You can upgrade to metal right away if you have it or upgrade to stone and then to metal later. 
Then add another extra layer of metal foundations all around. You can then fill in all the walls and all the ceilings to cover up the doorways. You want to put the doorway on top facing towards your front entrance. Make your front circle one wall higher and make another twig staircase up. For the third floor honeycombing, you can just use stone to upgrade your honeycomb instead of metal. Now, you want to upgrade all your inner walls on the loot room floor and the second floor to metal. You also need to upgrade these two metal walls in your doorway hall on the second and third floor, so they're forced to go through all the doors. For your window floor, you want to add these triangle metal floors. You can put whatever combination of windows you want, but I like to use metal shop fronts and windows. Of course, window embrasures require BP, so you can easily use wooden window bars for now. A lot of base builders like to use double doors for this peak spot, but you should use single doors. Even without doors attached, no one can squeeze in to your window floor. Single doors are also half the price of a double door, and you only need one instead of the standard design of two double doors, which is one fourth of its original cost. You can also put another way up to the top of your base if you want, but you can just cap it off with ceilings. This YouTube version with all the doors completely finished, this was the upkeep that I got. Of course, just like any other design, you can switch things up and make it your own. I'll be building this a lot when I play Rust on my livestream over at Twitch, and we'll be showcasing many different ways to make this design more efficient or stronger in some ways. So make sure to go follow my channel and hop by to see how this design might be made step by step on a live server. Congratulations! You now have an Ace June base for building 3.0. Here's an exclusive look at how the base interior looks at nighttime.